All right, guys, I'm uh, sorry that the lighting is bad, but uh, the news obviously came today or this week that Brett Hundley is going to stay at UCLA for another year. Uh, he'll be a redshirt junior next season, so we got to wait for some other decisions, but this was a good decision mostly from his standpoint, I I'm feeling. I would have been at peace if he declared or not, if he made the decision that's best for him. I thought Asante Williard will be ready if had Hundley declared, so... I actually wasn't too worried, declaring or not. Uh, first of all, from an NFL standpoint, this is the right decision. I, Considering this as someone who follows the NFL quite a bit, I thought Hunley's arm, I wasn't impressed with his arm in terms of what he can do. Uh, I thought his accuracy was lacking, his decision-making was lacking. I didn't think it was good for, for the NFL to be thrown right in there. If, say, he's drafted in the first round, I, I just didn't think it was the right decision because he hasn't shown to me he can be an NFL quarterback. I thought a little bit of a system, a little bit of a scheme helped him look good and efficient, but I didn't get the upside. I know upside is in every draft pick, and I, I did not see much upside in him compared to other sports and other players in drafts. So I do feel he made the right decision from that standpoint. Now from a college standpoint, Hey, we have stability at the quarterback position, and it feels weird to think we have a quarterback that's capable of being an NFL player. Once again, I felt that he wasn't ready enough for the NFL to be thrown in his rookie year, say this fall, if he was playing as a rookie. Just wasn't ready for that, I don't think. But on the field at UCLA, he's got to show to me he can be more accurate down the field. Uh, I felt that he didn't do well enough in the big games when it mattered. I know, see, that first half against Virginia Tech, and even most of, pretty much most of the game, his arm wasn't good. He did not make many good throws, uh, with the exception of those couple near the end. But I wasn't impressed with his arm. He hasn't shown even mid-range throws or deep throws that he's consistent there. Some of it might be our, le our receivers being inexperienced. But we have the weapons. I know UCLA has weapons at wide receiver. But Hunley has to make those throws in the NFL or has to make those throws in a tight window. I got to see much better with that. Or I got to see him look better in that sense. Uh, sometimes I felt he would hold on to the ball too long, trying to make a play, and then he'll get sacked, or he wouldn't throw it away. So he's got to make decisions like that as well. I got to see a little more there. But I am happy he's back from both an NFL and even college standpoint. As I said before, I would have been at peace if Asante Wooliard had to come in as a quarterback. So, yeah, I'm not too worried here, uh, Welcome back, Brett Hundley, to another year. Uh, should graduate, I think, because it would be his fourth year in the school. So a redshirt junior would be the right time if he, assuming he declares the year after that. So we got one more year. I know that's common for a basketball chant, but <laughs> which it's now basketball season. But, uh, yeah, happy to see him back. I will recap UCLA's season in one last video since the season's been over. So we'll see you guys later. Go Bruins, and let me know what you guys think.